Hello and welcome to another F-22 Total Air War Let's Play video! Today we're going to continue the Red Sea Tour and the next mission is Arabian Sword This time we're flying the F-22 in a combat air patrol in the air over the Egyptian coast We're on the Saudi side and we've got to look for any incursions by Egyptian air forces We've got to protect three Type 23 frigates so let's go, we start in the air, we've got one wingman, and we're about 14,000 feet, fly, flying at the speed of sound, and we check the tactical display, there's a lot of enemy activity, I denoted by these red triangles, there's some Raphaels, there's some um, F-14s, and some transport planes. They're not flying directly into our location. Uh, if we look for the Type 23 frigates, there they are. And there's three of them I can see in the tactical display denoted by the green crosses. Now we've got some enemy airborne targets about 100 miles away. So we need to be mindful of anybody that comes in closer. Now I've done this mission before and I just couldn't figure out how to beat this uh, mission because we just kept running out of missiles. We don't get given a lot of missiles, we've got four AIM-120R missiles and I think there's only a handful of Sidewinders. And uh, the frigates kept being blown up. But reading in the F-22 strategy guide of this game it says we need to fly down low and stay undetected and wait for the bombers to come and attack so we're going to fly around close to this type 23 frigate just ahead of us here and keep our MCON settings to level 1 and there's the frigate just beneath us Now we've seen on the tactical display there's uh, two, at least two red triangles heading towards us now. So that might be a strike group targeting these frigates. And we can't afford to let even one frigate be blown up. Because that means the mission's failed straight away. Now if we targeted one of these uh, planes and let's have a look at one of them. I believe these are F-14s and they've got like a swing wing and I don't know if Egypt has bought these in real life because when you see an F-14 you think uh, they're on our side but they're not so and behind it we've got some F-18s in the strategy guide it says to maintain your focus on the F-18s because they've got the anti-ship missiles that will blow up your frigates but we need to wait until they're a bit closer so we're going to circle around and keep low and undetected now the two escort groups in front of the F-18s, the F-14s they all split up and let the F-18s go ahead and we can completely ignore the F-14s if we need to so you can see the radar envelopes of the F-14s at the front of that strike group breaking up now they're splitting up on the bottom left hand side of the display the attack display So we've got to wait. Normally if you play this mission for the first time you'll go straight there and use up all your missiles and the F-18 slip through. But doing it this way I've managed to complete this mission before. And we check the attack display. If we target one of these planes and look at one. 
So that's the F-18. I think there's at least four of these planes. And they're carrying four anti-ship missiles each underneath. We're going to keep low, under a thousand feet if possible. And keep circling round. Now the anti-ship missiles, I believe they've got a range of about 50 to 60 miles, so we need to think about attacking at some point once they've in encroached into the 50 mile radius of these ships. And they're just straight ahead of us now. The escort fighters are split left and right, and the bombers are down low flying in a sweep formation we can see where they are on the tactical display now I'm going to get ready with our AIM-120 R missiles they've got a range of about 40 miles and as they get closer, the property, probability of kill indicator, which is on the bottom right hand side of the HUD display, which is like a bar with a red arrow, moves down. Now we've got to be in MCOM setting 3 or higher to launch a radar guide missile, and uh, we've targeted one and launched one missile away. And tell why wingman to engage now. We jump into missile view, we can just follow this missile to the F-18. Now they don't even know we've uh, launched the missile until that missile's come out of our bay and it's used it as own seeker head. And we've got one. And now they're panicking now. Now the escort fighters are turning around and they're bearing onto us. We're going to launch a missile at each of these F-18s and bank around using our turn and burn technique <laughs> although we're at high speed anyway so we don't need to use afterburners and if we jump into the missile view another one's blown up and this missile has been wasted unfortunately it's already targeted by our wingman's missile we jump to our wingman he's launching missiles furiously Now I think all the F-18s have been dispatched and it's the F-14s left and um, there's a missile on us now I need to bank and launch chaff Oh no, our wingman's telling us there's two F-18s left I'll just check on the attack display to see where they are and there's an F-18 which has had to abort its attack now because we've uh, upset them uh, I've got a Sinewinder missile selected I just need to wait for the seeker head to lock on to its engines And the wingman's just there as well, using his guns. And he's blown one up. But there's still the F-18 there. We've got a lock. And missile away. And this missile's on its way. Oh, it's fooled it with flares. But our wingman's on the tail of this F-18. And he's got it with guns. Excellent. <laughs> Good stuff. Right. That whole group's been dispatched and there's some Raphaels just on the outside. Now we can engage them or leave them alone. 
I think they're just a net combat air patrol. But we're well equipped, so I think we might attack these planes. Let's have a look at one. They're very small in this game. We'll zoom in as close as we can to see one. I'm going to tell my wingman to disengage. I think we're going to head back into our airspace. Let's see what these Raphaels do. I'm going to flick on the autopilot and put our feet up. And head back to the Type 23 frigates. These planes are about 25 miles away. So I'm not sure what they're up to. They're not part of a strike group. There's not enough of them to be a strike group to threaten our frigates. So we're now cruising along back to 14,000 feet, back to an altitude of 14,000 feet. And we're just going to use shift and T to speed up time. We're just under the speed of sound at 550 knots. I'm going to flick on our MCON settings to manual 5. Just to let these enemy fighters know we're here. Um, they haven't backed off, so we're going to tell our wingman to engage. Now we're going to switch our MCON settings back down low. So they don't get a chance to shoot at us before we shoot. And we've got our Sidewinder missile. Selected. Shoot, shoot. And uh, missile away. And uh, I think it's full the missile. So we've only really got guns Our left. I have to finish these guys off with guns. Engage my target. To engaging. I don't know how easy these planes are going to be dispatched because they probably make better dogfighting planes than the F-22. We'll see. Uh, we've got the game setting on medium, so it's not on hard. So. <laughs> We've got a fighting chance. The wingman's always better with the guns than I am, so I'm going to use my wingman where we can and ask him to engage my target. Now these Raphaels are fast. Um, I'm going to have to use my afterburners to keep up with them. We're not in range of our cannons yet. We've got to wait until the aiming reticle opens up it opens up like a clock but it does snake around so we've got to lead the target now they're not working as a pair my wingman's just behind me just to the right of me so at least we're working as a pair Right, we're a little bit closer now, just under a mile away, 0.7 miles away. Oh, we just need to get our guns over it. I fired my guns. I missed. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do a high yo yo to bleed off some speed. 
so we don't overshoot now our wingman's got a chance and he's got it and his radar envelope's been turned off so that's it for him and now his other wingman is on the tail of mine I can hear a warning siren saying there's a radar lock on us I'm going to bank around and that plane's finally been destroyed now both of us on this guy there's the wingman to the left and he's firing his guns and he's got him he's got plenty of hits on him and now the uh, enemy plane is smoking it's going to make sure he blows up or crashes into the sea because there have been times where I've broken off the attack and they've managed to stay in the air and launch a missile at us while we're flying away so we just got to make sure confirm the kill there he, there he is and it's exploded before he even hits the sea sometimes you see the pilot parachute out and sometimes you don't so um, I'm sure all these pilots uh, parachute out but we've not caught it on our camera here so no one's been hurt in this making of this video <laughs> okay we're gonna break off and head back now we're not really fit to continue our combat air patrol we've exhausted all our missiles and we've used a fair amount of fuel I presume Okay, we're going to head on to waypoint 3 now, away from these frigates. And I presume another combat air patrol is going to take over our shift. So this, this waypoint is probably about 160 miles away. And we've got, still got plenty of fuel, so that's good news. If we jump in the smart view, you can see what else is around. There's some F-16s, an enemy flight group of F-16s. And there's some other planes on the ground, but not within our range of our smart view to look at them. tactical display there's some F-22s and a Eurofighter on our side so unlike uh, EF-2000 where you're only fighting against Russian Sukhois and MiGs we've got enemy forces that have got westernized uh, planes on their side so it's all down to looking at the tactical and seeing what side they're on so you can't just assume it, there's an F-16 flying and it's on our side and of course it um, mixes up a bit because when you're in a dogfight they all fly at different speeds they all have different turning speeds and you really got to make use of any high yo-yos or low yo-yos to bleed off speed or gain speed using the air brake or afterburners isn't the most efficient way of uh, maintaining your energy status of your plane okay there's a friendly F-18 now <laughs> we can leave this one alone Just coming to the left of us. There's two of them. Okay, I'm going to use Shift and T just to speed up time now. I'm just flying along over this desert and these mountains to the left of us. There's a settlement just below us, and I think our airfield is just over these mountains we 
we've got to go just under 50 miles now and when we're in about 20 miles away we'll ask the tower to land and I can see some ground targets appearing on a HUD display there's a Humvee a friendly Humvee, I shouldn't say targets, I should say uh, contacts <laughs> just parked up next to the airfield and I'll switch to our ILS HUD display now and you can see the landing boxes appearing in front of the runway And we're cleared to land. I'm going to drop back my throttle to the lower setting and just glide down. Oh, we'll just overshot it a bit, but it's no problem to correct ourselves. Now I'm going to weave to the right, just do a circuit. This helps us bleed off our speed. I find this more useful than using the air brake. You can see our airspeed's dropped down right down now to blow on under 200 knots. We're going to put our gear down. And we're just, just about right, but we're just a little bit low. So I'm going to just put our thrust up a bit because if you want to gain some altitude at this kind of speed you can't just put your nose up, you've got to put a bit of thrust in as well otherwise you'll stall so once we're over the runway we can just level out and just pull up just, just before we touch down and there we have it a nice landing now we press the air brake it will apply the wheel brakes as well and we just need to turn off and stop and then we should get our goals accomplished message I'll probably get shot at for doing all these awful landings but uh, <laughs> I want to keep this video short and sweet and there we have it engines off and I hope you enjoyed that until next time bye bye